All right, this is a quick Adobe Illustrator tutorial on making uh, interlocking rings like in this Olympic uh, logo. So first I'm going to take the ellipse tool with the medium gray stroke, and I'm going to just eyeball the center, and then I'm going to hold down my Option button to draw from the center and Shift to make sure it's a perfect circle, and just kind of eyeball it right there. It's a little off, but it's okay. Let's get my Move tool and move it over a little bit. All right, looks good. I'll size it a little bit. All right, now I will go ahead and increase the stroke weight. Just trying again just to uh, match it up, eyeing it. And make it a little bit smaller, maybe. Okay. 16 points looks pretty good. Now I'm going to just copy it over by holding down my Option button and dragging it over. If I hold down Shift, it'll make sure that it'll constrain the angles so it's easier to drag it over perfectly to the side. And on the other side, I'll copy it. And copy it a couple more times down here. Okay, just to make sure that everything's lined up, I'll get my align panel and I will make sure the top rings are aligned and the bottom rings are aligned. Now I can select all the rings and go to distribute uh, horizontal by center and that way they'll be evenly spaced out. All right, so I'm just gonna move down my reference here and zoom out a little bit move down my reference so I can look at it to compare and I'll lock my reference so if I was to select one of these rings and I just got my eyedropper and selected it you can see if I select that JPEG for the color it's gonna make a fill and I don't want to fill and I want a stroke and when I swap it back to the stroke I lose my stroke weight I'd have to increase it back to 16 that's a little tedious. But luckily, beforehand, I went ahead to my swatches and I already made a color group with all of my colors for the Olympic rings beforehand. And this is going to come in particularly useful in a little bit when we use our Shape Builder tool. So I've got the yellow and I got that. Uh, I think that's supposed to be black, but it's not pure black. Because I just sampled it from this JPEG I got off the internet and this red. Okay. So now I've got my rings. You can see they're just stroke rings. If I go to preview, there we go. So if I was to just use my shape builder right now, it would not meet up right. Um, I wouldn't get the curves, I'd just get these and red. So if I go to outline, you can see that these are just stroked circles or ellipses and if I was to use my shape builder now to try to make them interlock it would not work out so well because I'd just see the blunted ends of the stroke so what I need to do is to select them all go to object path and outline strokes and what that's going to do is it's going to take my strokes and it's going to turn them into fills which is going to work out a lot better when I use my shape builder tool to try to get them to interlock so you can see here that these are now fills Let's go back to preview so now uh, so I've got my color group made and I'm going to select them all I'm going to select all my rings and get my shape builder tool now you can see here I don't have any fill or any stroke right and I can't hold down my option button to get the eyedropper because that's going to be a uh, a delete path with the shape builder so that's not what I want and if I and if I just go with nothing then I'll make an invisible stroke so what I need to do is I need to change it so luckily I've got these color groups set up with my blue so now when I go ahead and use that shape builder you can see that it uh, makes a new shape with that color and I can go ahead and get my yellow loaded up for my swatches and make a new shape with that color and go to that black ish color do it there get my green and 
finally read. I'm just clicking and dragging across those areas to merge them together with the shape builder and to build a new shape. And now if I go to outline, you can see that I've got these uh, rings all interlocking the way I want to, the way it should look. And if I want to, I could still go ahead and define them a little bit farther by just uh, adding a stroke to all these shapes. So I can just add black to it and you can see now, even though they're all different colors, all these shapes now have a stroke on them so it just delineates them a little bit more. Okay, I hope this was helpful.